Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold up. All right, let's take a look at this. This is Destiny 2 Episode Echoes launch trailer. A voice spoke to me on Nessus. I could not deny its commands. I hear it still. The witness is dead. From that victory, something new emerged. At first, we didn't know what to call them, but Echo seemed apt. You won't be alone. We're sending our best. I was once the Vex's greatest opponent. I should remind them. No! Dude, it's gotta be Maya. I never thought I'd see him shaken up like that. He's always so strong. Do not forget what you're dealing with. Uploaded, judged, and eliminated. I will be ready. Dude. You know what this reminds me of? Chat, this reminds me of when we used to have like DLC drops instead of just seasons. Like this just the just the narrative that's tied to it, right? Oh, that looks that looks incredible. I wonder if this um this figure has control over Saint because of what happened to Saint whenever he got essentially killed by by the Vex. I know we did all kinds of stuff around that, but I mean like dude, this just makes sense. The mother of all exos is Maya. It's got to be Maya, man. And look at this right here. It's got to be. It's got to be, dude. No, I would think it's safe to assume Maya's going to be pretty bad. You know, Lichmi, eh, I don't really think Lichmi was that bad. I think she was misunderstood, you know. But Maya, I think she's just going to be genuinely just a bad just a bad person, you know. Dev Insight article. Oh my god. All right, so Dev Insight's episode echoes. While the final shape is the capstone of the 10-year Light and Darkness saga that we turned the first page on way back in 2014, we've got many stories left to tell, and that's where episodes come in. Echoes launches on June the 11th and represents the first of three self-contained narratives that are a direct result of the events at the end of the final shape. We're so excited to share new perspectives and characters in, gal in a galaxy forever changed following the climactic battle with the Witness. And the echoes this produ produce while also being be tying up some loose ends. Again, all the narratives that were pretty much set up by this past year's seasons. Now, each episode will feature a three-act arc that focuses on friends and foes, old and new. Each act will deliver activities that continue to expand over time alongside their expanding reward pools. We've built episodes to deliver more meaningful reward paths tied to your journey while ensuring there are lots of secrets to discover, solid reasons to return each time a new act launches, and exciting build crafting opportunities to take on new challenges. Not only they, this point right here, guys, they're, they're also adding new artifact mods as the episode goes on, which is wild. Uh, now, things are only just getting started with Echoes, as Year 7 will also feature additional episodes like Revenant, which focuses on an old enemy that's back with many handfuls of new tricks, and Heresy, where we dive back into the Dreadnought and shake up the Hive Pantheon, which looked incredible. In addition to the name of the episodes, Echoes are mysterious objects of immense power born out of the epic clash between Light and Darkness within the Traveler. In Echoes, the Vanguard knows little about these artifacts, but mobilized after detecting the Vex stirring on Nessus. With Resonance Vexperts, Saint-14 and Osiris at your side, and backed by the incomparable Failsafe, you'll find yourself exploring the planet to dig up all the data you can on a new threat that wields an unnerving power unlike any we've encountered before. It's gotta be Maya, man. I'm betting thy vault that this is Maya. Now, new activities and missions launching in each act. 
Like every episode released in year seven, Echoes will feature three acts, each about six weeks in length, with act two launching on July 16th and act three going live on August the 27th. These are key points in which new quest chains will unfold alongside the addition of new activities that feature new rewards. In act one, you'll be introduced to the new three player breach executable activity. Uh, you'll test your meadow engaging in an active combat zone on the transforming surface of Nessus while attempting to track down ancient Vex technology. Failsafe will run intel, pointing you towards hotspots of strange planetary activity while you fend off enemies bent on taking these technologies for themselves. Dude, I mean, the way it looked like in the trailer, the way it looked, it almost seemed like the planet is going to be changing a bit, which is pretty wild. I mean, it almost feels like a, a true live event. Because it's just like one thing to have Vex portals pop up and you're fighting stuff. It's another thing like to have things actually getting altered. You know what I mean? Now, providing your mastery over breach is executable means you and your fire team will secure more Vex technology and provide the opportunity to unlock even better rewards. Much like our foes, breach is executable will continue to evolve over the course of Act 1, adding more encounters, paths to explore, bosses, and higher tiers of difficulty. Okay, so it almost sounds like deep dives with the adding more encounters. Interesting. Now, more season rewards. Speaking of rewards, Echoes will introduce a new set of weapons from the out outset alongside a pool of weapons that grows with the launch of each act. We'd like to give you a sneak peek at some of these as well as the new armor. Look at that, dude. It's literally all, all Vex themed for obvious reasons. We got a rocket launcher, a hand cannon, sniper, a fusion, a caster frame sword, and the grenade launcher that I know many of us have been messing around with. This is this is like a legendary with a horde. I don't know how strong it is. I haven't messed around with it enough, but yeah. The armor. What the, the hell is that? Bungie just took Cenotaph and turned it sideways. Oh, I just got told that this is not a, a, a sniper rifle. This is a scout rifle. What? Okay. A 120 scout rifle. Gotcha. Dude, look at that shit, man. Warlocks. You know what? I love it. I absolutely love it. You damn blockheads. Now, some of you have already spotted some of the new we of the weapons that are available in Echoes. There's also going to be a selection of Season of Dawn weapons reprised with a new origin trait, new perks, and even a new damage type in case of Breach Light now being Strand. Oh, here we go. Okay, so these are the Season of Dawn weapons all making a return. Bungie said they were going to be giving it back since they were sunsets. They are now coming back. Origin traits, Breach Light specifically is being Strand. I'm not really sure what other changes are going to be made to these other weapons, but if you miss, I've missed Marty the most. I'm ready to get Marty back. To succeed in this collection of new activities, adopt a flexible approach and bolster your loadouts with new armaments designed to face the unrelenting mechanical threat. As a Vex, Bruce Lee might have said, be radiant Lorian fluid, my friend. Oh my God. I actually, I'm curious to know like what the difficulty is because we just, we just came off of Onslaught which was extremely difficult, especially on the higher wave. So I'm curious to know what the scaling is going to be here. Now, expanding artifact and season pass. The seasonal artifact will also grow and offer new possibilities as each episode develops. While you get the new artifact early in the final shape campaign, there's plenty to unlock as you earn experience and complete challenges. The launch of Act 2, the artifact will have an additional row of perks added with another one on the way with Act 3 as each brings five more powerful perks to the table. We believe the meta will, sh will shift in interesting ways over time. The season pass will also see an expanded path of pursuits as it powers up 50 ranks with each act release. This means you'll see the traditional 100 ranks as Act 1 launches, with 50 being added per act for a total of 200 unlocks and rewards to chase before the conclusion of the story. Now to more, the witness is no more. Journeying to an awaken, awakening Nessus and pursue a new Vex threat when Echoes launches tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. It's still crazy to me that the witness, we, we were able to beat the witness. I mean, obviously we did. We literally did it twice, actually three times. Part of me feels like the witness is still out there though. Like, I know these are the Echoes, but part of me feels like he's somewhere out there. Like, he's got a Horcrux just laying around. But I feel like the version of the Witness that we meet in the future won't be the, the Witness that we've dealt with before. It will be the Eye. Maybe the Eye version. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm excited, man. When was the last time we've got a, a trailer for a, a season or an episode the day before the launch? It's like Bungie's going back to old. We, we normally get the trailers like literally the day of the launch and there's like little to no hype for it but it seems like bungie's is really cooking this man and and really pushing this and there's supposed to be big narrative points with this so i'm excited i'm also really excited to, to see how this follows up into you know next year the the year 11 timeline which is going to be frontiers it's been non-stop man bungie's literally blowing their load i love it slap that like button like your mama told you right